Hello everybody, I am Jedi Jack Penguin and welcome to another LEGO Brickheads review. So today we're going to be looking at set number 40480, Ginger, Tabby, and Kitten. This set includes 269 pieces and retails for $14.99 when it came out back on August 1st of 2021. Now this set has been a little hard to get because my Lego store didn't get it in till just very recently, so I'm really happy that I was able to go there and pick this up along with a few other new brick heads and stuff like that that you'll be seeing on the channel over the course of the next few weeks. Now getting into the box art, we have some very nice fish in the background of this teal box art, which I hope is coming up correctly on the camera. It doesn't look correct when I'm actually looking at the screen here, but hopefully the color correction will work out in the end. We have your pets logo at the bottom, regular stuff off the side. We have our kitten at number 134 and Ginger Tabby at 133. Moving to the back of the box, you can take a look at the other sets available in this line. One of those, I believe, or actually two of these came out alongside it in August. And then we have our Dalmatians that came out back in June, which I still have to do my 101 Dalmatian video. Look forward to that sometime in the near future. I'm still working really hard on getting that done. It's gonna be a real banger of a video. So yeah, that's pretty much all that I have to say for the packaging. So let's open this up and take a look at what's inside. Taking a look at the box contents, you get a total of four unnumbered bags to build the set, in addition to your stickers and instruction manual. Looking at our sticker sheet, we have two different patterns to add to your slope pieces to interchange on the pet bed. And for the instructions, we mimic the front of the box. You build both characters in the one instruction manual, win guy from the very back, and piece count for two pages, leading to a quick advertisement and another additional page of piece count right there, same characters advertised on the back of the box, and then our final overall model for this set. So yeah, that's all that I have to say for the box content, so let's take a look at the final overall model. Looking at the final overall model, you get both your adult and kitten tabby cats. Starting off with the baby tabby cat, we use the wolverine claws from the front for the whiskers, just like we did in January for the short hair cats, which I'll be comparing towards the end of the video. Regular Brickhead's printed eyeball pieces as well as a very nice melon slice tile for the nose in that pink color. I get the same color scheme for both cats using the orange and the yellow orange all around. Really like the build for the ears, very nice building techniques to get some studs from the back of the head. Clip piece connection for the tail so you can bring that back and forth and you can even bring it to the side if you really want to as well. You get the same sort of build up for most of these younger pet brick heads for both the cats and the dogs where the feet are stationary. You get some little studs from the front for those paws which I think is very cute as well. Overall just a very adorable small little cat to add to your collection. And looking at the adult tabby cat, we get the same exact color scheme using the yellow orange and then the orange colors all around. We use the wolverine claws for the whiskers, we use the same exact piece for the nose and the eyes right there are very nicely printed just like they've always been. But we get a pretty cool scarf going on for this character using the teal color all around for the scarf. Very cool to see that being used as the accessory. We have the same sort of buildup that we see for the other cat set that we have where we have these extra little bits coming out for the paws for the cat and we just have a little bit more belly being shown compared to the baby tabby cat really love the building techniques for the ears right there i might as well just remove this see that we have a little bit of an extra push out there just to make sure everything is all nice and smooth in connection to the slope pieces that we have up there and just like the baby tabby cat you can move the tail back and forth using the clip piece connection and even move it to the side if you would like to do that as well. And the additional play feature that we have here is the ability to actually move the feet around just to show it in a different position. You can have it just sitting like that. You can bring it all the way back and have it lying down doing some type of yoga pose or whatever. And again, the color scheme is the same as the baby one and I just think it looks very nice to have both of these characters together with each other. Now looking at the pet bed included for both the characters, we get one of your regular Brickheads plates and then one for the smaller characters over there. You can place them on there, which I'll show momentarily. But from the very front of the pet bed, we get this interchangeable arch slope piece where we have one with this paw pattern stickered on the front 
And then we have one with this fish pattern, which is the same exact patterns that we saw back in January. All you have to do to remove this is just remove this front part very nice and easily. And then you can also move this very nice and easy way to actually access this. I like that Lego does include a little groove to make it easier to take this apart when you want to interchange the piece on the front of the pet bed. And then you can just place it on the front of those studs right there to show a fish pattern compared to the paw pattern. Another thing that I just want to point out is the fact that we use a lot of this lavender color. It's a color that I don't really get too much of in my collection, so I appreciate getting a bunch of that. And I do have to say again, but I didn't say this last time, but I just don't like how there isn't as much support for the beds other than just having these plate pieces in there. Of course you can remove them and display your character separately, but I just don't like how easy it is to actually break this apart. That's one minor flaw when it comes to the pet bed, but of course most people will be having this on display and not playing around with it. Now before I end this video, I thought we'd show off all of the cats that we've gotten from the LEGO Brickheads line so far. We have the two short hair cats that we saw in January of this year, and just recently in August we saw our two tabby cats that we just looked at. Now personally, I prefer the tabby cats only because it reminds me of Oliver and company just having that orange cat. Very very cool to see that come in a Lego set. I do think that these are also likewise adorable. You get some small accessories, you get a bow tie for the short hair cats, and you get a scarf for the tabby cats. And you can just take a look all around and see a lot of the similar building techniques that we have between these characters, like you have the ability to move the tail on all of them, you have the ability to move the feet a little bit on the adult versions, and take a look at the back and see a lot of the different types of styles being used between the characters. And then moving back to the front of their faces, you can see we use the same exact styles when it comes to the Brickhead's eye pieces, as well as the Wolverine claws and also the same pieces for the nose. Both sets of characters also come with their own style of pet bed. We get a lavender color for your tabby cats and we get the teal for your short hair cats and you also get the same exact stickers being used but of course they have a different background color for each set. They aren't clear stickers which would have been a little bit more of a smart decision because they are using the same exact decals for both cat sets but at that point I would have rather these to be prints but still again it's not something that was really necessary to be a print. So overall for $15 this is another very nice Brickheads pet pack to add to your collection. If you got all the other ones why not complete the collection with this one. It's another very nice addition to the cat lineup. Hopefully we'll be seeing more cats and dogs next year. I'm not too sure how well these have been selling and I have heard rumors that some of them will be retiring by the end of the year. So just be careful on which ones you decide to pick up. Especially I heard the Dalmatians may be retiring by the end of the year so I might be picking up more of those. So just wait and see. I'll have to do another big video in terms of that. I do have something planned in terms of the current Dalmatians that I ended up picking up, so just look forward to that sometime in the near future. And I have one more other Brickheads video with the La Catrina number 149 coming up very soon. So yeah, that's pretty much all that I have to say for this video. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below what your thoughts are on this set. Also remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon to know every time I upload a new video. So yeah, that's it for now, and I will see you next time. Bye!